Hello and welcome to my mini series regarding how to use SFTP and Python together to do pretty awesome stuff. So not only can we use this to just simply upload and download files and just think of it that way, uh, we can actually wind up using it as a sort of back end to a website. So for example, like I use my own computers and my own servers here uh, to do a lot of the grunt work for my website, syntex.com. Most of that, like the processing and bandwidth and even storage is all cheaper, <laughs> like if you just buy it yourself or if you buy it in an insane bulk. But like for most people running websites, you're paying a pretty high premium for that hardware. Obviously you're getting the benefit of not having to worry about maintenance and all this. But at the end of the day, if you're running a website that requires like mid-range performance, uh, it makes sense that you would just do some of this on your own if you can anyway. So I have my computers communi communicating with the Centex server to transfer files, run various jobs, tasks, and more. And another example is like a lot of hosting websites are going to charge you, um, if they even offer it at all, a good amount of money to run scheduled backups of your data. And whereas like if you have SFTP or SSH access, you can do it yourself with a command. But if you don't, um, if you don't have Python or some something else, like you could run like an, a cron maybe, but then the files would still remain on the server. So, so part of like the reason I don't really like that is if you run a backup, you know, the whole idea of backing it up is just in case something happened to the server. <laughs> so if you back it up on the server, it's not always the like the best backup. So you want it in your hands anyway. So, so you can use it for that as well. But Regardless of whatever you want to use it for, it's definitely just, just really helpful. It's an empowering skill to have for pretty much anybody running a website. So in order to do this, uh, we're going to need a few things. And we should also know exactly kind of like what we're aiming to achieve here. So, so this tutorial is going to be a mini-series that deals with SFTP. So SFTP is just FTP or File Transfer Protocol with an S or Secure added to it. So natively FTP, like if you have like an FTP, like maybe like FileZilla or something like this, uh, natively that's like really just insecure. You really shouldn't, you shouldn't be using FTP. SFTP adds a layer of encryption to kind of put it closer to the amount of security of SSH. But um, as far as I know, I believe SFTP is still less secure. But you've got uh, encryption now, so it's it's not as big of a deal. So. Um, and we're going to be using SFTP. It's still really, really basic and simple to use. Um, and uh, that layer of encryption is added through a module called PyCrypto. Luckily for you, everything with PyCrypto and the actual encryption and decryption process, right? Everything is done behind the scenes. So, so like uh, you won't have to learn how to do encryption within Python. But if you are actually interested in doing encryption with Python, I do also have a tutorial on PyCrypto showing you how to encrypt and decrypt. So if you're interested in, in, in that, uh, I do have a video on that, but we're not going to be covering that here. So either way, uh, we need to get the modules and uh, go ahead and get started. So what you're going to need is there's going to be three modules that you need. You need PyCrypto, Paramico, and PySFTP. And you're going to want to download them in that order because uh, PyCrypto is a dependency of Paramico. And Paramico is a dependency of PySFTP. So you want to download them and install in that order. And also, as with any of the downloads, you're going to want to be sure that you download the correct bit version for your installation. Python, and I think by this time, and for, for this tutorial series, I'm going to go ahead and assume that you all know how to download and install things in Python. Uh, just kind of assume that if you're interested in Python to transfer data between servers, uh, you probably know what you're doing at this point as far as installing things. So I'm going to put the download links in the description uh, just to save you guys some time. Man, I'm a nice guy. And again, uh, just just remember whether you're 32 or 64 bit. And then also, um, I'll put the like Pi Crypto for example doesn't come natively 64 bit, uh, and neither does Paramico. I'm not positive that you'll actually need a 64 bit version of Paramico, but I included that just in case. Uh, but you will for sure need the 64-bit version of Pi Crypto, so definitely download that one. Um, anyway, the rest is there, and then also I'll link you guys to the PySFTP 
module. So once you've um, downloaded all those things, make sure you can go to your interpreter. Let me bring up my interpreter. Let's see if I have one. And make sure you can do the following. Pi crypto will actually be just an import capital C Y P T O. As long as you get no errors, you install that one correctly. Next one we want to do is import para amigo, and that one went well. And then finally, import pi sftp. It's the only one that, that doesn't. It's not the same name as the module is crypto, but anyway. So as long as you can import all three of these then you're good, you've installed everything, and you're ready to proceed to the next video. If you have any uh, issues with the installation, or maybe one of those links I gave you is now dead, uh, please leave a comment below. If you need help with anything, I'm always willing to help. So with that, I'm um, going to conclude the video. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for the support of subscriptions. I just hit 1,000 subscriptions, by the way. That's freaking awesome. Uh, until next time.